Hello, welcome to another demo on Snap Center. Snap Center 4.7 now includes the support for multi factor authentication. And in this demo, we will see how easy it is to configure within Snap Center. So, you require an ADFS server. Then, configure the supported MFA services with ADFS such as Azure, MFA, and so on. Then, Download the federationmetadata.xml file from the ADFS server. Now, that is a file that is used to create a trust, identity token, signing certificate, and many other things. Once it is downloaded, copy it to the Snap Center server. Now, we will log in into the Snap Center server. And first thing is to create a, a similar XML file that we created on the ADFS server. So we'll run the command new hyphen SM multi-factor authentication metadata. You can run it as a standalone command or you can run a command with additional parameters like a path where the file will be generated. Once that is done, now we are going to import the XML file that was generated from the ADFS. So we'll run the command set hyphen SM multi-factor authentication. And then we'll provide the path of that XML file. So this will enable the MFS in the Snap Center. Optionally, you can run another command, get hyphen SM multi-factor authentication, and you can verify the MFA is enabled. So now the file that we have generated in the Snap Center server, we're going to copy to the ADFS server and then we are going to import the similar XML file over there. After this, we are going to edit the claim issuance policy where we are going to select an attribute which field to be used to perform the match. Usually it would be the user principal name. And then we are going to configure a trust relationship with the specified relying party objects. That's it. After that, whenever you browse for the Snap Center server, it will automatically redirect you to the MFA page. So depending upon how your MFA is configured, you might see a multiple option for your next level of authentication where you will receive OTP via SMS text message or can be generated from a mobile passcode. So you see how easy it is to configure and enable MFA on Snap Center Server. So we all know the importance of securing the environment and enabling MFA in Snap Center is going to add an additional layer of security. So go ahead, install Snap Center 4.7 and check out the Snap Center documentation. The link is given in the description of the video and check out the other new features. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.